And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. All right. Well, I've got gold wire. I've got a little bit of space cleared out. And we are looking good for trying this out. Not sure what I want to do about storage. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is give this a try. So the copper pipes come up from the bottom, essentially. So if I do that, get rid of that, put that there, put that there, and a battery right there. Now I can put the missile assemblers one right here actually let's uh, set that to remove only so one right here one right here behind these I want to put where the gold is going to go in so these are going to be output to this side So we've got copper into the bottom, gold wire into the side, power being shared between these two, and the output coming out this way. That will give us the basic missiles. However, we are gonna go for a little bit more than that. So that actually won't give us the basic missiles. That'll give us the missile shell without any fuel. We actually need to go up one more level and fuel them. So let's extend this out. And these will be remove only. And where is my missile? There it is. Missile fueler, like so, these also need a battery. And I need one more set of fuel for these. I wish I could put it in the middle and have them share the fuel but I think if I put them on the outsides with remove only, then I can put another set here and it will share these fuel. So, and these need an output like that. So that, uh, that will give me the basic missiles. Um, power I set this up like this so you can power it directly one off another these actually only take like 10 power per second to run it's uh, really not too bad okay so we have pretty much kind of the template that I'm looking for. Of course, these get shared. This output becomes this input. And I just need to figure out how best to route the gold wire if I created another set of these. And the slime is not helping me concentrate. So if I put another fueler here, here, that is a gap. Yeah, that's a gap of gap of one. So that's that's half. That's half of the missile assemblers I kind of wanted, and those aren't even the fuelers. Darn it. Uh, 
I always do that. Get a little ahead of myself and I miss miss something obvious. That may not work with that copper right there. I may have to route that copper over, but that's a lower priority than all of this stuff. So if I want, let's just get rid of this first line. Like that. Probably gonna have to mine out some of the stuff on the bottom. But I'm gonna need a whole lot of logistics hoppers. These need to be on the bottom, every other one. Like that, and then I need to carve out underneath. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to get the trusty BFL down here and take care of that. Uh, let's see. I've got some stuff I can get rid of here. Snow is taking up space. Deep stone is taking up space. It's not much, but it clears out the inventory. Pretty much need everything else. All right, back to it here. So yeah, I will clear that out with the BFL. All right. These are empty missile assemblers. And batteries so those two are covered I need these two these two these two and these two so yeah this is quite quite the endeavor setting all of this up I'm trying to do as much of this on camera as I can possibly bear I you know if if somebody out there wants to see more of some of the monotonous stuff then you know by all means let me know i have no problem you know if that's what people want to see the the whole process that you go through to create you know systems like this no issue um putting that together But if you'd rather see, you know, more of the action and less of the, the planning, then that's, that's okay too. All right, so it's pretty much the same setup. I need a hopper in the middle. And that's gonna be a problem. I'll skip that one for now. Because, right, because that one has to be a battery. Pretty much the batteries have to line up. So that one has to be a battery. This one and this one. Just like that. All right. Some of the preliminary work done here. Got 
trying to get this all squared away before I kickstart it. So that's add only, add only, add only. Okay, these should all be remove. Nope. Remove only, remove only. All right. The only ones I need to do are the ones that are below all of these, just because I don't have all that stuff dug out down there yet. I don't have access to them. Well, that is the basics of the basic missile assembler. From here, I can route them around to where there's some easy power access to have some of them be imbued. If you look, so I've got only two armor piercing warhead fitters because I'm not going to have very many of those. I have 10 more missile fuelers. I should have 10 more, yep, 10 more empty missile assemblers. So I can double the number of missiles that I'm producing right now. And then I have 18 warhead imbuers. But that would require many, many thousands of power. So, how to deliver... How to deliver gold to all of these. I kind of wish this was this way. Because what I want to do is I want to put, let's grab some turntables. I want to put a turntable here, in between all of these. And I'm going to need another one. Here. Like so. Now, with this setup, <clears throat> I could mirror, because this is 10, I could mirror this whole setup right over here. And with these, with these turntables, they would split up all of the material and eventually get everything running. And I've not tested this design at all, so I honestly have no idea if it works at all. But you can see... This will split it going this way and this way. And this will split it between these two. So as long as this, as long as this belt is stuffed full constantly, shouldn't be too many problems. I'm kind of kind of fill this in with transport pipe. Just to make sure it's as fast as we can make it. And I just, <laughs> just ran out of transport pipe. Amazing. Transport pipe. So if I do that. It should fill all of this stuff up. Granted, they don't have power and they don't have copper pipe, but... It should, it should do it. And then if I put one going this direction, double it all up, the only obstacle left is power. So, let's see. <clears throat> if I double it up, which I'll likely do, I'll do that in between episodes. Just because that's a lot of, a lot of the stuff that you just saw me do. So as far as power goes, 
I'll probably bring it in going this direction. So I'm going to want to... I'm going to want to power it like this. And then I can have the power coming down from above. So I'm going to... I'm going to elevate this a little bit, sort of like I have here, only one higher. So I don't, so I'm not so cramped under here. I feel really cramped when it's right above my head like that. This stopped because of titanium. Nickel is just not getting any love today. All right. Plus, double checking all of these hoppers is a kind of a pain. All right, the only option here is to go around all of this, just one more tile. So I kind of want to go this way with it. Empty all that out. I don't want all that in my inventory. Don't need it, don't want it in my inventory. All right, so these should be refilling. This is going to come out and go over probably to this outside one. I am going to want to redo this whole area. But we are, we are a ways from building the OET, let alone charging it right now. We're going to need... Many thousands of, many thousands of rockets, missiles. Remove only, remove only. Yeah, these, not too bad. We'll see how this does before I add too much to it. So sign of a similar thing. You can see the line of Hoppers. Oh, I just took one out accidentally. Oh my god, really? I'm not hitting that. There we go. Okay, so the trick is place, place, and then. Assemblers, yeah, it's like that. No harm. There we go. I just gotta BFL this out, give myself a little space. I'll route the copper pipes very similar to how I did the gold wire. Only they'll be going straight up into the hoppers from below. So I can do that off camera in between episodes. Well, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.